A very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to introduce our topic lines and angles. This is related to our chapter 6 of 9th class. So there are two terms lines and angles. First of all we have to understand what we understand by the term line. A line if I draw this is the example of a line because line have no fixed starting and end point next is angles in other word angles this is lines and the angle is okay when i join two lines name it as a b and b c I join these two lines and here is the vertex. Vertex in other word we can see that here is the corner. This is known as vertex or you can say that this is the corner. This is known as the angles. We can write angle as angle B or we can also write as angle ABC. Or we can also write as angle C B A. In this, when we write draw the angles, we have to check the angle in which the vertex is B. So we have to write B at the middle. Okay. So now again we understand some basic terms which are related to our angles. In angles, there are different types of angles okay first is acute angle acute angles are those angles whose measurement is greater than 0 degree greater than 0 degree but less than less than 90 degree okay now the second is right angle. Right angle is an angle whose measure is 90 degree. Okay. Third, obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are those angles whose measure is greater than 90. Greater than 90. But less than 90. Now the fourth point is straight angle. The straight angle is an angle whose measure is 180 degree. Now the next angle is reflex angle. Reflex angle is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 but less than 360. And the last is complete angle. Complete angle. An angle whose measure is 360 degree is known as complete angle. And the measure of, as you are very well know that uh, for measuring the length, we have to write some uh, units like meter, centimeter, millimeter. So in the angles, we have to write the degree as degree. Okay? This is known as the unit. Okay? I hope you understand the concept. Thank you.